This is Indio Radio. You're listening to That MMA Show. This is Jeremy with That MMA Show and Full Contact Fighter. Now, I am here with Leslie Smith. Leslie, how are you feeling after that win tonight? I feel good. It was a nice win. It wasn't the finish that I wanted, but she was a super tough opponent, and, and it was a good win, and I'm happy about it, and I've, I've got a, a lot of stuff to look forward to as a result of tonight. So let's talk a little bit about your game plan going into this fight. Did anything change from your previous camps? I, uh, you know, I train everything. I'm a developing fighter, so I... It's not like I'm ever like, oh yeah, my stand-up's great. I'm just going to work on my jujitsu. You know, I at all times am working to improve in every single department. And so I, I was doing that. I expected that there was going to be uh, more clench work, really. I, I had anticipated that she was going to run in a whole lot more than she did. Um, so I, I was really prepared for that. And I, I didn't get to utilize all, my, all of the stuff that I trained. But, uh, I mean, I, I got to use most of it. And... Uh, and it, it worked out. Was there anything that surprised you in this fight? I, uh, uh, well, you know, fighting at 125, I thought I was going to feel big in the fight. Uh, and you know what? I didn't feel big in the fight. I felt like we were just two freaking fighters. You know, she was, she was just as tough as any opponent that I've had at 135. There wasn't, uh, you know, there wasn't any lack of power in her punches and, um, you know, I, it's not like I thought it was going to be easier fighting at a lower weight class, but this reinforced the fact that, that it isn't, you know. It, it's, if anything, she was faster and had more energy and, and brought more because, because that's what lighter fighters do. So now then, let's talk about this. How hard was this cut to get to 125? It was a new experience for me. I've, I haven't been this weight since I was in junior high school. <laughs> So, uh, you know, it, it definitely, it had an effect, you know, it affected my training because I was dieting the whole time and, you know, the last couple days, <laughs> the last couple days my coaches probably wanted to slap me <laughs> more often than not, but it, it worked out and, and I'm only learning from it and, uh, and I, I look forward to being even better at doing the whole weight cut next time and, and being able to utilize the, the lower weight class. You know, I, I don't think I took as much advantage of that as as I could have because I was just getting used to it. Now, let's talk about this next time. So, upcoming up is uh, Barb Honcheck and a title shot. How do you feel about that? I'm so excited about it. I love the Invicta belts and I have a lot of respect for Barb Honcheck. So, uh, it, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a great fight. And, um, you know, I, I have one title title right now and it's with kickdown in Colorado and uh, I that's the one belt that I have so I'm really excited about having a chance to get this really really big totally known belt it's gonna be on TV again which is super exciting and and uh, I don't know I might not be able to sleep tonight because I'm so excited so then let's talk about that a little bit tell me about what it's like to fight on television pay-per-view now for real that face says it all, folks. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's one of those things where, <clears throat> where I'm super excited about it because it changes everything. But when it comes down to it, it doesn't change anything. You know, we're, I'm still in the ring. I'm still fighting. I'm still in the back with all the other women. We're still doing the exact same thing that we've been doing. The only difference is that it's on pay-per-view, which is all the difference, right? So it's, it's a weird, like... Is it real? Did it change anything? I mean, it changes everything because it, it's it's a glass ceiling broken. It's another step up. It, it it's higher up, and uh, you know, it, I mean, it changes everything and nothing at the same time. All right, final questions, and it's just two words: Sarah Kaufman. Rematch, please. I'm. You know, I I know she's in in another uh, organization and. Since right now I'm, I'm fighting at this weight class, it's a different weight class. And uh, I shouldn't have said rematch please like that because I watched Gilbert Melendez and his title fight that, you know, I think 98% of the world thought that he won against Benson, right? And, dude, the dignity and the composure that he had afterward, he didn't say a single word about the rematch. And I was like, man, you know, I, I need to learn from that. I need to be like that. So, so... I shouldn't have said that in the first place because I decided that I was going to be a lot more gracious about it. But I'm looking forward to being able to meet her in the future. Great.
political answer. That was awesome. All right, any shout outs to the sponsors? Oh yeah, I totally want to thank my sponsors. Rev Gear, um, On It, Hella High Oakland, uh, Blazin' Seven, um, Stone. You guys are awesome. I appreciate everybody. Great coaches, Caesar Gracie Jiu Jitsu, uh, Functional Muscle Fitness, Johnson El Nino Training Center, Yuzo, Alessandro Pajera. You got 20 more minutes of tape on this? Not a problem. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that, that's most of it. I, uh, I really appreciate, especially my teammates, you know. I, it's, I'm really lucky to have such a supportive team. Everybody's always like, you know, what can I do with you? And, and when can we work? And how can I help you? And that means a lot. That makes all the difference. Because I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for all the people who are, who are working with me every single day. Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you, Jeremy.